I've never been before, so it's a treat for me. Um, I've been to Venice, but never the film festival. And it's been great. The response has been great. You know, the fans are all out, and it's uh, such a beautiful place to have a film festival. The only thing, I'm, I'm, in this, I'm in a room talking to you, so I never actually get to see any of the films that are in the festival or in competition. So um, that's a bit of a pain, but otherwise I'm having a lot of fun. The response that you've had is phenomenal. How do you deal with that? Do you ever sort of like... Do you ever deal with that? You know, do you ever get over the, the shock of all these people? Like, <laughs> your attention, yeah, it's, it's always surprising, you know. It's, um, it's, uh, the fans here were terrific, and George is so great at that, you know. They completely adore him, and he's so great with them. So it's nice to see them coming out, you know, especially in these climates. Whose phone is that? <laughs> I hope that's a T-Mobile. <laughs> So you're working on the side, George. Um, how, how, how was that experience? You know, one of the best-looking men in the world. Yeah. One of the most desirable men in the world. Yeah, and he really is too. <laughs> he's a he's a great guy. You know, with uh, with all the accolades. You know, he really is a movie star. He's a great actor, and that's a combination that doesn't necessarily always go together. And he's a, he's just a nice guy to hang out with. There's no ego. He he comes to the set and he really enjoys his work and enjoys filmmaking and the process of filmmaking. And he, he rarely leaves the set. He comes in and just like you know loves it. Did you feel the chemistry between the two of you? Very much so. Uh, to the, you know because I didn't. I met him after a screening of Traffic, briefly with Steven Soderbergh, and then the next minute we were doing a movie together. Didn't rehearse, and it was just from the moment we met that you could see there was a you know we say a good sense of humor and there was a good connection. But that doesn't transcend the screen a lot of the times. It was really interesting to see that just just something that you can't really act or try and contrive, you know, it's just something that's spontaneous. Can you tell us about your character? My character is Marilyn Rexroth, who when you first meet her is um, going through a divorce. Um, one of many. She's a serial divorcee and I wanted to play her kind of against the kind of hard bitch that you think she would be, you know, and just float through it and be calm and collected about, um, about everything and how Kind of a little unaware of what chaos she can create around her. There's, um, the, the characters in the film are all quite ruthless. I've never been to Hollywood. I can imagine that the, the, the place is full of people that are quite similar to the, those that are portrayed in the film. Mm -hmm. um, is there anyone that you pulled reference from when, when doing the part? Or, <laughs> no, uh, I never. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you yeah. because I'd, uh, I wouldn't have any. I wouldn't have a friend anymore. Um, no, I, there wasn't anybody, but there are people. I mean, I do know people who have just gone through divorce after divorce after divorce, you know, make, make a living of it. Um, so I didn't. And also, I must say, in, in Hollywood's defense, it doesn't only happen in Hollywood. Um, but I think we just know about it more because it's usually on the TV or when, you know, Hollywood couples split up or two rich people split up. It's, uh, it's always so much more do documented when it comes out of Hollywood. Mm. So you, you've won an Oscar this year. I know. Yeah, which is pretty I amazing. still can't believe it. Yeah. How has things changed for you? Well, it's. I said to Michael after I won the Oscar, I said, "Oh, now, I, now the work really starts. Now, now I have to really pull my finger out and do some work." Um, but it hasn't really changed me or, or my perception. I mean, I'm just so thrilled that I have it, and and it's there for the rest of my life, you know. And it was for a piece of work that, if nobody ever saw that movie or never gave it any accolades. It was one of the best experiences of my life. So to have, to have that, you know, for a performance in that film is is really special. Another great prize you got this year is uh, Keris. Yes. yes. Um, so, how's that going? You know, motherhood and, and juggling. Yeah, and it's, I always like I always hate to say juggling because it's like, oh, how can I possibly say juggling my children? You know, but um, yeah, she's healthy and great and. Um, my schedule changes a lot, you know, and that's the one thing now that I have to really anticipate more is that before somebody asked me to do a film anywhere in the world, just pack my bags and go. Now I have to think, okay, I can't, I can't go, I can't take two children there and it's in the middle of the Sahara Desert or something. So um, that's changed a bit, but otherwise it's just a complete dream to have that personal life, you know, so fulfilled um, and then have, a, you know, my career going. At the same time, it's 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 good. I believe Keris is getting uh, Chris Sam next week. Do you know? I just heard that. I no. Oh. I think some. I think it must have been a low <laughs> news day, a, a low news day that day, and someone went, "Wait a minute, we haven't talked about them for a while. Let's put this. Let's say they're coming back for a christening." No. Um, What's well, one of the funniest rumors that you've heard about yourself? In oh God.
Oh, one of the funniest was um, that Michael was running for president and I was going to be the first lady and there was a mock-up of how I would redecorate the White House. Brilliant. <laughs> Welsh girl in the White House, can't be bad. Very good. Well, so, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very it's nice. Good. That was great. Thank you.